Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, we are here at the Salvation Army this morning for one of the projects associated with NFL Green Week. Take a look behind me here. We got a whole line of cars. We have hundreds of students from across the valley that have been collecting these school supplies, the sports equipment for months. Today is the big day. They're going to be dropping it all off right here. They're also going to have a good time with a Cardinals legend as well. And we're joined now by Susan, who is with NFL Green. Thank you so much for having us. Oh, you're welcome. Welcome. Pleasure to have you here. So we know this is one of the projects through NFL Green Week. What, what's so special and important about this morning? So this project is all about kids helping other kids in the community. So we have hundreds of kids coming in today from about 60 schools and 11 YMCAs. They've been collecting books, sports equipment, school supplies, and games, bringing everything in this morning, and then all those items will be donated this afternoon to other kids that can use those items. And tell me a little bit about the other projects that you've been a part of this week. It's, it's a busy, busy week for NFL Green, for sure. It certainly is. So this is one of six projects we're doing during our NFL Green Week. We uh, did a big restoration project on the Lower Salt River to clean up debris there and also remove an invasive species of apple snail, along with some special ops military veterans and hundreds of volunteers. We've been planting trees. We've been doing pollinator projects and habitat restoration projects. And then Super Kids Today is one of our, actually one of our favorite projects because the kids get so excited about being here and knowing they're making a difference. For you as someone that has been planning this week and these events for about a year, what is it like to see all of this come to fruition? This is the fun part. You know, <laughs> it is about a year of planning, but to see all the kids walk in, they're so excited to be here and just to see that enthusiasm as they come in and know they're helping others in the community and then they get to go play with the Cardinals after this. So that's <laughs> also really fun. And it's just as fun to see the teachers come in in the afternoon to, re to you know, select the items their kids can use. It makes a big difference. What will be the role of NFL Green in the days leading up to the Super Bowl and then also after as well? So we do a lot. We stay here a week after Super Bowl. We make sure that all the food that's prepared but unserved uh, goes to local soup kitchens and shelters. We're working with United Food Bank, St. Mary's, and Waste Not to make sure that all those items go to people that can use them. You'll also see a lot of decor and build out around Super Bowl, and all of those items are repurposed after the event, which is really pretty unique for an event to do that. So we're working with about, I think, 65 nonprofit organizations who will take that fabric and reuse it, reuse those building materials, and put everything to good use. All right, Susan, thank you so much. I know you live in New England and you've been traveling out here a lot. What do you what do you think of Phoenix and our weather this time of year? I love the sunshine. <laughs> it's a little cool, it is. but a little warmer than New England and a lot more sunshine this time of year, so we're enjoying yeah, it. A lot less snow as well. But Definitely it, less snow. I, I'll, I'll, I'll take this. Yeah, this is right. great. Susan, thank you so much. You. So again, we are uh, taking a look at this just massive event. Again, this is really the work of so many students uh, throughout the entire year. They have been collecting these supplies, and I think, you know, when you talk about the Super Bowl, you think about the big game, you think about the actual football game, but uh, there really are so many other things um, to do. Hi, how are you guys doing? We're on 3TV right now. Hi. <laughs> have you been collecting supplies? Yes, yes, we have. Where do you guys go to school? Perry. 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 Yeah. Okay, what's, what's been your, what was your favorite part of this whole process? Um, just helping out kids. Um, I got a chance to speak on the announcements and tell my fellow students that uh, <laughs> we're collecting. So just helping out kids in need. It was amazing. It was just really fun, like helping everyone. The announcements was definitely a fun thing, and just like telling all the kids to do it, it was so fun. Thank you guys. So, will you guys um, come do the news with us? Because you've done the announcements. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Have a good one. So again, this is uh, happening all the Salvation Army down here in Phoenix. Uh, those school supplies collected by kids and students in our area, and they'll go back to kids in our area as well. Brunel, I'll send it back to you guys. Such a cool experience. That's really great. Yeah. Love that. Thank, Thank you, you Whitney. Whitney.